cool when I say hi and they don't really turn out that way. <laughs> so today is going to be the video that you guys have literally wanted for a thousand years and I'm sorry about that. It's just I wanted my room to just look so on point and I would normally have my grumpy cat here but he kind of went missing and it's really like it's just it's a really hard time for me and i honestly love watching these like really 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 since i remember like juicy star seven's really like original ones do you remember when she did one with sawyer hartman a lot to me if you give us a thumbs up and let's see if we can get this to 1100 likes in one night magical suspense inserted here <laughs> if you guys want to see more of these in the future because i change around my room a lot and maybe you want to see them seasonally i will also start doing those if we get this to 1100 likes because i kind of want to you know the theme of my room you know just to throw that out there it's kind of magic magicalness that was not this wrong word trust me i don't know with the clouds and the rainbow light of letters and the unicorn it just makes me feel magical it just i feel like i'm in a disney movie because you know my room is magical, I'll have to like poof out of like poof into this or something. So imagine if it was like bippity boppity boo and like intense. <laughs> okay, fine. I feel like one of those mimes. How do I get out of this thing? Nah, am I even touching it yet? But I'll be in a little box if I can figure out how to edit that way. Let's hope I do. Kind of like laundry clips and stick pictures on there which is really cute and it would still turn out really cute that way but it was like a diy where people were like taking frames cutting it out and then taking a piece of string and hanging some and hanging sunglasses and i thought it was so cute but i never made it i kind of just bought something that looks like it but on there i just keep sunglasses i keep like my you know extravagant headbands <laughs> very peculiar and questionable glasses. <laughs> Over there, I got this from Sale Home Goods. I clearly am a home goods girl. Hey. Little owl hanging thing. I don't know what it would originally be for. It could be for coats, could be for anything. I use it for really pretty necklaces. I use it for my favorite necklaces. And so that kind of whole little corner is kind of just stuff that I always grab before I leave the house. My favorite purse slash only purse is really fancy, not gonna lie. <laughs> and it's like a black container storage thing, but I have nothing on it, which I should really put something on it, except for some random extra DIY supplies. We have a DIY I did like a month ago. Um, oops. <laughs> a cute mini photo printer that connects to your phone. It's called the Canon Selfie. It's so tiny and cute and it's just for photos. So words that I actually again DIY'd and it was like this like really like I got it a long time ago during some of my questionable middle school years you know I uh, just went to Joann's and got a fabric and it's like a gray fabric with a bunch of uh, pretty sparklies clip like DIYs and stuff from Pinterest that I want to do like during that time of year mirrored jewelry container that is from I believe Marshalls and so when you open the lid, there's a mirror in the front so that you could, you know, see what you're putting on. I also have bacitracin in there, I think. It's just basically, like, the ear piercing, um, closed twice, so just to make sure it doesn't close again. And in the second drawer, I have just some fancier bracelets, and in the third drawer, I have more fancy bracelets. Um, this owl hanger, jewelry hanger, it could be really... could really be for anything. I hang, like, off of the sides of the bracelets and my choker. And there's a little owl sitting on top. You can't forget the owl. It's a little thumbed up. And then I have a fancy ring holder. Oh, oh, there's more fancy stuff here. There's more. Wait, there's more. I had to do that. It's the shape of a heart. Oh, doll. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Earring rack. It's just, it's just a clear plastic one. I have just basically just my cheaper little stud earrings and. And then in the front, I keep some hand sanitizer. Also, before I leave, I like to put on hand sanitizer. Is that only me? Is he? Whoa, look how weird I look when I like raise my eyebrows in these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> then the first drawer of this dresser. I am obsessed with this dresser. Oh. Just, I'm gonna give a little spiel first. Um, I've only been in my room for two years. Two years. Two years. Second drawer is a bunch of camisoles because, not gonna lie, seventh grade was my camisole year. I sweatshirts in and also like very cute sweatshirts I wear a lot you know like not like the the, the lounge like the corners kind of just stuff that I always grab before I leave the house it's like bags and bags and glasses and accessories stuff like that it's just a drawer mirror um 
I just have the little dial for the heat and stuff. I have a chalkboard. I wrote a to-do list like honestly like two months ago and I never erased it. I think my whole house is like this sound system where you can like dial in and be like calling, calling, mom, get me, get me ice cream, you know, like. <laughs> so in that little white organizer is from Target. And on the top, I have my Polaroid, because Polaroids are just so cute. Yeah. Like, and, uh, yes, no cap on it. Be then I have a mug I made myself, and it says Dashing Through the No, and it's really cute. It's got Grumpy Cat. Clear vase-like thing that I got at the dollar store. And in there, I just keep really cheap fake flowers. I just have a double-sided tape dispenser. The second row has this DIY I made recently pictures of stuff that I like that's kind of that I fangirl over and stories but more like lifestyle books that you just kind of pick up and just read random pages. A mason jar you get these like a dollar wherever and I keep all my Polaroid pictures in there. Bro I have another DIY it's like Jesse and has like a definition for me and then I have a jar that I actually just keep receipts in. Phone lens because I thought it also just the box was wrong. Then I have a pick puncher which makes your own guitar picks it's like a stapler. And on the bottom I have a box I made out of that wallpaper I was made. In there I keep some common DIY stuff. So just keep stuff in there so it's just easy to access and because no one else wants to store it in their room. Then, right next to that, I have my own bathroom, which I didn't have in my old house. I shared it with my brother, and I'm like, yes. My desk, my friends may not want me to show them things that have happened recently. So I have the Tyler Oakley tour pass, and it means a lot to me, okay? I have a board, but I haven't really, like, filled it out since September, and I should have really done it. Ledge, or ledge. And... <laughs> Um, on it, I keep the another DIY frame. It's too high for me to really touch, like really be into close contact with. So we're we're hoping I don't break that <laughs> with big snow in it. Well, like organizers or pencils and pens from Staples. Ooh, that hair. Oh, that's not my hair. That's my vest. Staples. And I keep most of this stuff though in the desk drawer. On, on the bottom, I have a a little organizer from the container store where I keep like scrapbooks and my face pillow pad and just kind of throwback stuff. Again, you need some throwback in your room. These lights that I use are the Firefly lights from Urban Outfitters. I also have some two black frames from Pier One. Love Pier One. I keep black and white photos, long photos in there and on there I saw those hanging candy canes which were some my holiday and DIY room decor because it's still winter so I'm gonna keep up some winter decoration. Big red bow, again from the holidays, but hey, I thought it was really cute. My favorite thing in my room, 100%, my canopy. I had one of these when I was four and a kid just, just went like that and we could never hang, like, hang it back up and honestly, I always wanted to feel like a Disney princess. I have my hanging clouds, which was a DIY, and my hanging pine cones, which were also DIYs. So I actually hang those from the canopy with yarn. So I just hang it from the loop. White bedding is from Target, and I really wanted white bedding because of the pictures. Duh. And B, it matches with whatever crazy pillows I put on my bed. Yellow one from Pier 1. Yeah, Pier 1. Made the one with the winter bucket list on it from Sazzle. A snowman pillow from Pier 1, and a sparkly pillow also from Pier 1. Funny story about this unicorn, it's actually my brother. I wasn't using it, and I stole it, and it's mine. Also, I have this macaroon pillow, which I'm obsessed with. I got them like, yeah, I think. I of my bed. Forgot to mention this. I have a gray fuzzy blanket. This one is from Target. I have a shelf up there where I keep the Lumos letters. It really changes this stuff there, but I'm currently been obsessed with that because I like the way it looks in the back of my videos. <laughs> Things to do in Snow Day, which is a chalkboard thing. I chalkboard wood slate. I also made this Mario everything. Little question box, you know, when you hit it and then yeah, you 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 would know if you blink. On, I have two more shelves on the wall to that that you cannot see when I am filming. Opening case of emergency DIY left, and this orange owl I got from Home Goods. It just matches with every occasion. I made this in my first video, and it's like this DIY memory we jar. We just took donuts, and before we ate them, obviously we had to take pictures and put them in front of our eyes. Then I have a mason jar candle. It's a, an empty photo frame. I that frame has been empty for forever, and I really need to find a picture for it. Then I also have the DIY CD rack with blocks you get at Michael's and I saw like My Life is Ava I think it was doing DIYs on it and I'm like that is so cute. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I took that idea so thank you for that. Um, then I have two books back there which 
One of them I am yet to read, but just looks really pretty. And that symbol that I find at Home Goods were literally like four dollars, and I'm like, that is me because I am always on social media. <laughs> lighting there is a window here so it's like reflecting off I could but I'm not going to because I'm probably gonna break it because I'm never using the blinds ever <laughs> the only window in my room is just one huge window and then next to that I have some wall decals that I kind of want to take off so, again Disney princess life I'm sure they have like floating flowers in their rooms <laughs> then I have a white oh wow. oh I feel so fancy because I just have an obsession with clothes and I had too many clothes and I didn't have enough room and things were literally overflowing and falling on top of me so I needed an armoire slash I love shoes. Do you see them? They're crazy. Yeah, they're not gonna like shoes. I'm a shoeaholic, so <laughs> I keep a lot of shoes in there in the box. Uh, this is like a time-lapse room tour. That's uh, that I made a dark room purpose in socks. And beanies because beanies need their own special place in their own special place in my life. I don't know. And just like special pants, even like disco pants and stuff. My closet, which is kind of a walk in closet. It's like you can walk in it, but it's a very small little walk in. It's just a little, little spot. I don't know. Oh, it's getting dark here. This time lapse is going to have to end. Um, it was very interesting getting to document how it gets dark. Just kidding. <laughs> the common challenge for this is going to be where. Do you get whatever you decorate your room with? If you decorate your room. So if you guys want more of these, definitely like them. I've been literally getting requests for this since forever. Like, I think your room should, you know, kind of reflect you. And I think my room just looks very different, but it expresses me. Sometimes quite literally, especially with that frame that literally is a definition of me, but let's be quiet about that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Let me tell you about this one I got